CES, one of the largest tech event in the world, many companies from across the world attend this program to showcase their product. Now, coming CES 2026 will be held on January 6 to 9 in Las Vegas. AMD CEO Lisa Su is coming up with some bold plans in this event. So let's get into the details. Based on the blog post by CTA Custom Technology Association, it is claimed that AMD will showcase their information around Ryzen CPU, Radeon GPU, Instinct AI Accelerator, and the Farm's EPYC server product lineup as well. First up, we have the AMD's Gen 6 CPUs. The codename are Olympic Rig for desktop CPU and Medusa Point for the mobile app use. Basically, new Ryzen chip will power both gaming PC and laptops. But according to some leaks, AMD's laptop lineup in 2026 won't be see major change. Instead, we will get Gen 5 update called Gorgon Point. This lineup is expected to reuse the same 4 nanometer process while Gen 6 is planned for 2026. It will only be for desktop and servers, not laptops. Gen 6 CPUs will use a mix of TSMC's N3 and N2 nodes with a custom tuned N2P variant optimized for AMD. It is estimated that clock speed will increase by 8 to 10 percent compared to today's N3E. Now, let's go to my favorite part graphics card. AMD might reveal RDNA 5 or, as rumored, suggest name UDNA 5 architecture for GPUs. According to the reliable AMD leaker Kepler, AMD's next-gen RDNA 5 is said to bring back higher-end GPUs. This is important because Radeon 4 skipped the higher-end market, leaving AMD to compete mainly in mid-range. With RDNA 5, AMD looks like ready to return to the top tier. Mass production is expected in Q2 2026 with availability in the second half of the year. So subscribe so you don't miss any of those updates. The top tier Navi 5X would feature up to 96 compute unit pair with 384-bit memory bus with GDDR7 memory. In mid-range, AMD is planning a 64 compute unit GPU on a 256-bit bus, while entry-level models may come with 32 compute unit and 128-bit bus. More details on the memory type and capacity should be clear as the launch date get closer. But it is clear that Navi 5X is gonna be way more powerful than a Navi 4X. This could be a giant step for Radeon GPUs, especially in the AI power gaming and higher performance graphics. AMD also expected to share news about Instinct AI accelerators. Those are the powerful chip made for AI and data center. The company may reveal new models of accelerator and even full rack scale solution. According to semi analysis, AMD is preparing its fast rack scale GPU system, the Easting MI 450X, set for the second half of 2026, built on 3 nanometer TSMC process with coaxial packaging. Each GPU will feature 288 GB of HBM4 memory, delivering up to 18 tera per second bandwidth and around 50 petaflops FP4 compute while drawing 1.6 to 2 kilowatt. Pretty complex thing if you are not into AI accelerators. Lastly, they will likely showcase the next generation of EPYC server processor that power cloud and enterprise system. At its 2025 advanced AI event, AMD confirmed the next two generation of EPYC processor will follow today's Gen 5 based Turing. But in 2026, we will see EPYC Venice build on the new Gen 6 micro architecture. Venice is expected to pack up to 256 CPU core per package, thanks to the higher core count per CCD on TSMC 2 nanometer into process. Honestly, this feels like the perfect timing for AMD to make comeback with Lisa Su on stage. AMD has been dominating the AI space and Intel is making move on CPUs and GPUs too. So AMD need to show that they are not just keeping up but leading. Personally, I am excited about RDNA 5 GPU or UDNA 5 if the rumor are true. If AMD really managed to unify their architecture and push AI-focused graphics, this could change the game for both gamers and AI developers. So, mark your calendar, the AMD keynote will happen on Monday, January 5th, 2026 at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So, what do you think? Will AMD steal the spotlight at CES 2026 or do you think Nvidia and Intel still have the upper hand? Let me know your thoughts in the comment below and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the future updates. Thank you.